So this is actually pretty cool. I've got the uh, testing the solar security camera over there. I've got it right in front of the squirrel feeding station. Connected by Wi-Fi to the house and to my phone. So depending on this, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, signal strength. Okay, today we're checking out this. Okay, today we're checking out the Solium Solar Wireless Security Camera, provided by the people at Solium to check out here in the backyard. It's uh, wireless and uh, solar powered, uh, ideally uh, to be used as a security camera. And of course, one of the first things I'm going to try and do is use it to uh, on the, the birds and the animals, sort of like a uh, a uh, game camera just for fun. But, and then we'll put it up on the house and uh, check it out as a security camera. But it's uh, weatherproof and uh, films at 1080 uh, HD. Of course it's uh, night vision and it has a motion trigger. Weatherproof, you can see it's got the uh, 1080 lens and then the uh, IR lights around the edge here and the motion detection. On the bottom is the uh, where you can plug in the USB cable to charge it or to transfer files to a computer and of course it has a uh, micro uh, SD card also which what I would use all the time because that's the easiest way to uh, save the images and the, the video that it captures and it's got the uh, tripod adjustment here and a, a mounting bracket and it comes with uh, some mounting hardware it comes with an extra some extra screws and an extra waterproof cover for the uh, ports down here which are real sensitive so you don't want to get those wet so it's nice to have a little extra. A little reset pin and a special little uh, Phillips head screwdriver. If you want to use this for indoor use you can take um, the uh, solar panel off just by unscrewing it here and then it just sits for example on a table or something like that, it kind of blends in. It's got a nice look to it, so it kind of blends in with furnishing and things like that. So if you take off the uh, solar panel wing with the included screwdriver, it's actually kind of a nice little micro Phillips screwdriver. You take that off and you can set it, you know, anywhere in the house and uh, leave it, uh, you know, to run on uh, the battery power to take uh, motion detection video for, you know, uh, you know, babysitters, uh, visitors, whatever. Uh, it'll run for actually quite a while on the on the battery. Uh, probably, uh, well, in standby mode, it'll run quite a while, several days. And then if it's taking a lot of video, obviously it's going to be uh, going to run out quicker. But uh, then you just recharge it uh, with the uh, USB adapter. But you know, ideally, it's for outside. And uh, one of the things I'll show you that I tried it out on was using it outside, like a sort of a uh, solar powered trail camera and of course the uh, cool part about this is it's wireless and it comes with software so you can monitor what's going on outside or in your house or wherever you put it so you just simply turn it on and uh, takes this and then you have the um, Solium uh, app that you can download for uh, for Apple and uh, Android and I just turned it on and see right away it's connected uh, just like that and you can see what's happening uh, wherever you put it. So of course <laughs> being the uh, backyard birder and animal over there, the first thing I'm going to do is put it outside where the birds and animals hang out and just kind of test it out as a trail camera. Then I'll set it up on the house and we'll uh, test it out as a security camera. But so far you know it's real easy to set up uh, the instructions are uh, pretty clear. I, mean, I downloaded the um, app, uh, hooked it up to your home Wi-Fi, 
uh, and had it running within a matter of minutes, and it's all pretty much self-explanatory. The software is pretty rudimentary, but it, uh, you know, it works fine. Uh, and you can see it's got, you go back on your timeline and see what's happened. And you can also, um, you know, down, take the file, uh, take the uh, micro SD card out and uh, put it into the computer to get the file. So, so it looks like a pretty neat little unit, so we'll, uh, we'll check it out. The uh, solar panel just slides in and out right there, so you remove these two screws and you're good to go. This is what it looks like when you take the uh, two little screws off and remove the solar panel if you wanted to use it for indoors. It's nice, small, and compact. And it's got sort of a, uh, a flat area here so you can just set it down anywhere and uh, on a table or whatever. and. Uh, you got yourself a camera that just kind of sits around intrusively. And of course, ideally, you know, you, you can, the big, the nice thing about this is you can uh, see what's on there with your uh, smartphone, but of course you can leave a micro SD card and it'll record for a long period of time. And uh, you can always look at it later when you get back and you can review it on, you know, historical imagery on your phone too. Now with the, uh, Solium app loaded, you can monitor your Wi-Fi signal strength, your battery strength, uh, how many people are connected. The other thing too is, I have, I'll show you uh, later, I got pretty remarkable uh, distance uh, coverage with the Wi-Fi in the house. So you, your phone connects to the Wi-Fi in the house and the camera connects to the Wi-Fi. And uh, you can monitor it or, you know, your camera's connected to your home Wi-Fi and your, um, you know, out out and about somewhere else far away and you can still monitor it by using your uh, cellular signal. And then uh, and it keeps uh, it keeps a list of some of the stuff that you've saved. And those are some of the videos we'll look at later. You can adjust the size on your screen. And you can also, it also has a uh, microphone you can talk back and forth so you can actually talk to a person or <laughs> make an announcement to a person uh, with this which is kind of cool and I've got the uh, the voice turned down now because you'll get you'll get feedback of course if you're right next to it and then of course your settings uh, SD card your orientation you can set it to rotate or mirror you know in other words uh, depending on how you mount it, you may want to rotate the uh, view. Uh, sensitivity, uh, how long between it, between the time it starts a new video, uh, whether you enable the nighttime uh, LEDs or not, and your basic settings. Overall, I found the software pretty uh, simple to uh, download, set up, and uh, use. You see here I'm watching, uh, this is what it looks like on the phone. And uh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I wouldn't expect it to necessarily work at that distance. Normally you'd put it like right along the house. And uh, I can see we have five squirrels this morning, so this is going to get a little wild. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, so now I'm actually inside the house. I've got the uh, camera set up on the squirrel feeding station over there and you can see real uh, real close up on my phone exactly what's happening out there alive. And at the same time the motion detection is uh, recording the files on the disk on the phone. So that's pretty pretty darn cool. And you can see the red line, and that's the recorded uh, video. Yeah. And uh, because it's got a real wide uh, field of view, it can focus really close up, so that's also nice. So you, when you put it real close to the animals like that, you get a nice, uh, nice close-up view. You can see I've got it only less than a foot from the peanuts there. Whenever I get a camera like this, first thing I always want to do is check it out on the 
feeding station. That is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I'm inside the porch here, watching the camera out of the back fence, and uh, you can see I can see exactly what's going on in real time. That is pretty cool. I mean, first off, I'm surprised that the Wi-Fi extends that far to the backyard uh, fence back there, where I usually use an action camera. Uh, but now I'm inside, and I have my phone here, and. Uh, Watching the cardinals and the buntings go at the seed, which is about probably about a hundred feet away. So uh, and I'm not on the route. The Wi-Fi router is a couple rooms away. So that's that's pretty cool. I mean, that's that is uh, actually a lot better. Uh, it's a lot better. Uh, Performance than I expected, and it, it's a significant alternative to a, a trail camera, depending on what you want to do. I mean, if you want to put this out of your bird feeder, <laughs> I mean, it's a security camera, is what it's designed for. But if you want to put it out of your bird feeder or your squirrel feeder, and then uh, watch it on your smartphone from inside the house. You know, I'm, I'm pretty fortunate with my Wi-Fi here. I'm getting pretty good signals. That's a lot of fun. So I installed the camera on the back uh, gable of the house. Just uh, a quick three screws in the wood above about, uh, they recommend about at least eight feet off the ground. There you can see the live feed in my uh, cell phone. And they recommend you put it in a place where it gets two hours of direct sun each day, but uh, it's been kind of raining for a couple of days. I can see the battery is still about 100% from when I put it up there. And my experience has been when I was testing it out like a trail camera that, uh, you know, it, uh, it lasts, as long as it gets, if it gets even diffuse sunshine all day long or something like that, but basically I haven't noticed a problem with uh, not being enough sun. You know, obviously if it's indoors or completely in the shade, then the battery will eventually run down, but, uh, you know, it has to have a little bit of sun, but not, not as much as you might think. And there's the installation. It's just a simple uh, three screws and wood, ideally under a gable or something like that, or a wall. And uh, everything else is uh, wireless. And uh, you know, you want to try and get it with a couple hours of sunlight every day. Now this area here is going to be a little challenge for sunlight, but so far I think. Uh, the battery is showing the pretty good signs of uh, lasting with the limited direct sunlight. <laughs>